Hello, fight fans. You may have seen out there on the internet today that George St. Pierre said he is retiring due to a breakdown in negotiations with Khabib Nurmagomedov. He's been making this test cut to 155, and he said negotiations are just not there, and that tomorrow, February 21st, today is February 20th, that tomorrow, February 21st, he will have a joint press conference in Canada with the UFC to announce his retirement. George St. Pierre said he will announce his retirement after these test cuts. He says, I'm not impressed by my own performance. He's not ready to go out there. And I'm here to tell you guys uh, something different than that. I don't take a lot of these stances, like a Chael Sonnen or something. Some of these guys that maybe just try to take the alternate route just because it's what the cool kids are doing. But I'm going to tell you right now that George St. Pierre is selling you wolf tickets. And you're just buying them up. As Nick Diaz would say, George St. Pierre is not retiring. George St. Pierre is not done. I guarantee you. I 100% guarantee you, I'm going to tell you right now, George St. Pierre is not retiring. I don't care what he says tomorrow. George St. Pierre is not, not only is George St. Pierre not retiring, but George St. Pierre will be fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov, and he will be fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov in November at Madison Square Garden. You heard it first here on Fights with Friends. Friends, nobody else is putting this out there, but I'm putting my reputation, I'm putting everything out there right now, and I'm telling you 100% George St. Pierre's not retiring, first of all. Second of all, he's fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov in Madison Square Garden in November. And the third thing I'm going to tell you and I'm putting my name on the line is it will be for the 165 pound championship. Mark my words. And I'm going to show you guys why and go into it here in just a minute. Uh, but take a just a quick second to check out our sponsor. Uh, I'm just going to put up this one sponsor this time. Robin Hood. Free stock from Robinhood is all you have to do is download the app, use the promo code in my description, and they will give you a free stock. There's nothing else to it. There's no wolf tickets. There's not, I'm not selling you a, a load of garbage. You get a stock, I get a stock. Many of you guys have already done this on Fights of Friends. It's the most popular promotion over there. And everybody that's done it has got a stock. And Young David just got his first stock. Let's go into it. Uh, what I'm talking about. Because I'm sure you guys are just going, Mike, you're freaking crazy right now. You've absolutely lost it. I guarantee you I have not. Khabib Nurmagomedov implores George St. Pierre to hold off retirement calls for November fight. Okay, Mike, this was reported earlier. Uh, why are you telling this? Is, this isn't news that you're pulling up out of nowhere. Uh, but let's read this. This is from CBS Sports. UFC and George St. Pierre are holding a joint press conference on Thursday at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada with the former welterweight and middleweight champion reportedly set to call it quits after negotiations fell through for a fight with reigning undefeated lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov. However, just as everyone began to praise the illustrious career of GSP with his retirement on the horizon, the 155-pound champion decided to throw a small wrench into the plans. You may have seen this as well. Khabib Nurmagomedov posted this to Instagram. Let's do it in November. After this fight, you can retire. I grew up on your fights and have nothing but respect for you. And I believe uh, showed that you, George, were in Moscow. 
Uh, but it would be an honor for me to share the octagon with one of the greatest fighters of all time. Let's do it. 155, or I give away five pounds to you because you've never done 50, 155. Well, it's your choice. 155 or 160. Montreal, New York City, Moscow, or Abu Dhabi. Send my location, me location, friends. Uh, so, Khabib Nurmagomedov with the patented send location to George St. Pierre says, I respect you, but I want to fight you. Name the place, name the time, name the weight. And I'm going to tell you what. There's a lot to read into this. So look at this where he comes in. This is your choice, 155 or 160. Uh, listen to George St. Pierre talk about negotiations broke down. Why did negotiations break down? Why would they break down? Obviously, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov has been calling for this fight for a long time. He's been calling for it at 155. GSP has been making the test cut. Why would negotiations be breaking down unless George St. Pierre did not feel that he could adequately compete at that weight? Now, a lot of people have been calling for a 165-pound division. And I'm going to tie the rest of this together for everybody with a nice little bow here because Dana White does not like other people reporting his news. He does not like being told what to do. He was not about to let uh, Nate Diaz and Dustin Poirier tell him that he was going to make a 165-pound belt. And he's not about to let George St. Pierre jump into the UFC, grab another belt, and retire. He also said he is not about to let Khabib Nurmagomedov hold on to that belt for 13 months without defending it, which is exactly what Khabib Nurmagomedov has said he's going to do. His friends that were in the cage are being suspended for 12 months. He said he's taken the whole suspension with them, not coming back for it would be 13 months. He said he would return in November. Now Dana White can spin this to his idea. And he can come out and he can make this huge announcement. And don't be surprised if you hear it tomorrow from Canada, one of the biggest announcements in the history of the UFC. But you heard it broke here first. Dana White will come out and he will announce this fight for the 165-pound belt. Why? If George St. Pierre wins the 165-pound belt, you're not tying up a division because there is no division. There's no rankings. There's no contenders. There's no top tens. They would literally be the only two fighters in the division. It's the very start. Uh, so... What a great place for him to retire. He comes back, wins that belt, uh, decides to leave or defends it against Conor McGregor in a some kind of a big money fight, another big money fight for GSP, but GSP's not retiring. Another reason it makes sense uh, for Khabib Nurmagomedov is because he's tired of making this weight. He's missed the 155 several times. He doesn't want to be at 155 anyways. The UFC doesn't want him to be at 155. 155 is so stacked. Tony Ferguson is probably a, about to fight for the interim belt by like, like the third time. Uh, Dana White himself said he would never make that fight again between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson, and I don't think it ever gets made at 155 pounds. I'm telling you right now, Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson will not fight at 155 pounds. Ever. Mark my words, make me eat them if I'm wrong, but I don't believe I am. I, I want to know what you guys think about this. Please hit that like button. Make sure and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Make sure everybody has rung that bell so you're getting notifications. I've heard some things of people missing some notifications. Make sure the bell's rung. Uh, there's also some things that YouTube uh, is doing right now that's screwed a few things up, though. So hopefully 
they get that figured out here very soon. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Am I crazy? Do you agree with me? Does any of this make sense to you? Or do you all think I've just lost my friggin' mind? Let me know down there in the comments down below. As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your fine asses later.